Hi everyone, welcome to the Satellite of Love. Mike Nelson here along with Gypsy, Crow T Robot, Hi. and Servo. Uh, and it, it's Servo. Yeah, that's what I said, Servo. Oh no, see, I changed my name. It's not Servo anymore, it's Servo. Uh, it sounds uh -huh. the same, only it's spelled S-I-R-V-E-A-U-X, Servo. Well, just grab that visual aid down there. Oh, okay. So you want us to call you Servo from now on? Yeah, I'd prefer it. What if we called you Servo? I won't respond. Wow. Anyway, we'll be right back. Oh, oh, so. and I added an H to my first name, so oh, you can okay, call me. Okay, let me guess. It's T H O M Tom. Yeah. Oh no, no, the H is at the beginning, so it's Hatam. <laughs> well, Hatam, why don't you halik me? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry about this. We'll be right back. No, 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 it's crew. crew. It's very simple. Crew. 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 No, 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 crew. purse your beak, Mike. Crew. 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 Oh, Pearl's crew. calling. I'll purse crew. your beak. Crew. Stop crew. it. My friends, this is it. Future generations may damn me, but in moments the world will be mine, for I have created a mutant virus so insidious, yet so destructive that by morning half the planet's population will be dead. <laughs> Never mind that. Find the lady. Come on, find the lady. Let's go find the lady. <laughs> Fool, this is no time for games. You will be the first to die. Never mind that. Find the lady. Come on, find the lady. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Find the lady. Nothing to watch, a buck to play. Find the lady. Don't you see that I have the power to kill you? Uh, the middle one. The middle one. Oh. Sorry, costs a buck to play. Come on now, find the lady. Find the lady. Okay, here's a buck. Uh, it's a setup. You can't win. It's a setup. Shut up. Um, the left. No, I'm <laughs> sorry. Here she is. Come on now. Find the lady. Easy to do. Come on. Let's play. <laughs> right. You are exactly wrong. <laughs> Here she was. Okay, Pearl, let's raise the stakes a little bit now. If we win, we get to choose the movie we watch. If you win, we'll watch two movies. Now, you think you can take me? Go ahead on. It's your move. Okay, Nelson, I pick. It's the middle! Middle! Pick the middle! No, wait, it's the left. No, right! 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 It's right! Wait! 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 It's the queen! The queen is the lady, right? Drink this. Oh, okay. Milkbag, you're on mission. What do you think? It's a scam. You can't win. Oh, I forgot. You're also a puss. I pick middle. Mm, yes, yes, let's see, yes, yes. Yeah! <laughs> we win! We get any movie we want! <laughs> Mike, you're the bomb, man. What are you gonna pick? Oh, let's see, something I'd like. Let's yeah. say, let's say the greatest drama of all time. Pearl, send me Hamlet. Wow. Deb, Rana, Zeffirelli, Olivier, it's your choice. Great. Hamlet, German, Rodworth, <laughs> Perfect. You win, fine, you get Hamlet. 
Oh, boy, do you get Hamlet. A dark, dreary dubbed version made in 1960 for German television. <laughs> God, am I good. <laughs> Girlie, you are the best. Send it up, cream cheese, and choke it down, schnitzel box. Oh, we oh. won. Follow the... <laughs> The uh, wrong way. Put it away, honey. Come on. <laughs> Time for starchy pork filled German Hamlet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Time. laughs> oh, look at that. Ooh, da -da 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 -da. Now, if there's a rice for you, I'm leaving. That means this version is deep fried and served with spatzel. San Quentin Prison presents Shakespeare. God, there's gonna be railing kills. <laughs> Why am I not getting results from my power walks? Is that Hamlet? Now that's his friend Riblet. Brush up your Shakespeare. <laughs> halt! Who's there? Stand and unfold yourself. Long live the king. Bernardo? Himself. Wow, good thing he unfolded himself. He was pretty creased up there. Tis bitter cold and I'm sick at heart. Have you had quiet guard? Not a mouse stirring. Use my head as a toilet brush. Halt! Who's there? Unstaple yourself. Friend of this crowd, liegeman to the Dane. Is Horatio there? A piece of him. I have his pancreas in my pocket. <laughs> hey, any Danish left? <laughs> so, uh, how's the play going? <laughs> what? I didn't say anything. Has this thing appeared again tonight? I have seen nothing. Horatio sisters but our fantasy and will not let belief take hold of him touching this dreaded sight twice seen of us. Ah, Tash, it will not appear. Last night of all, Francisco and myself, the bell then beating one. You're getting a ticket. In the same figure, like the king that's dead. And uh, get your head off my head. It would be spoke to. Horatio, speak to it. His Royal Majesty Rip Taylor. Mo, Larry, and Horatio. At your usurps this time of night. Oh, it's probably Bob usurping this time of night. Together with that fair and warlike form in which the majesty of very Denmark did sometimes march. Stay. Speak. I charge thee, speak. I'll cross it, though it blast me. Stay. Illusion. Ladies and gentlemen, Patty LaBelle. If thou hast any sound or use of voice, speak to me. If there be any good thing to be done, may to thee do ease and grace to me. Speak to me. I don't think so, breeder. Hell? Stop it, Francisco! He's headed for the ladies' room. Tis here! <laughs> Tis here! Let us to brunch. Tis gone. Cute, though. What? How now, Horatio? Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. Yeah, I didn't have any clean pantaloons or hose this morning. Break away, I'll watch up. And by my advice, let us impart what we have seen tonight into young Hamlet. For upon my life, this spirit dumb to us will speak to him. Night fever, night fever, we know how to do it. To be your... No, no, not yet. Oh, sorry. Hey, how you doing, Debbie? When Datish flirting falls flat. Lost, babe. So I don't even care. Oh, someone dropped a sardine. 
Censors were shocked by the blatant carnality in this film. Her card tricks really aren't that impressive with sleeves like that. No. <laughs> For yet of Hamlet, our dear brother's death, the memory be green, and that it us be fit to bear our hearts in grief with the whole kingdom, yet so far hath discretion fought with nature, that we with wisest sorrow think on him, together with remembrance of ourselves. That's enough, Claude. Therefore, our sometimes sister. Oh, baby. Now, our queen. Mm, juicy got me crazy. Have we? As it were with a defeated joy, with an auspicious and a drooping eye, with mirth in funeral and with dirge in marriage, in equal scale, weighing delight and dole, taken to wife. Gertrude's hair by Bozo. Now have we here in bar your better wisdoms, which have freely gone with this affair along. For all our thanks. Try the Vienna sausages. Stepdad, will you help me with my science fair project? And now, Laertes, what's the news with you? You told us of some suit. What is Laertes? What wouldst thou beg that shall not be my offer? Not by asking. What wouldst thou have, Laertes? Let me check with my lawyer. My lord, you leave in favor to return to France. From whence though willingly I came to Denmark to show my duty in your coronation. Yet now I must confess, that duty done. My thoughts and wishes bend again toward France and bow them to your gracious leave and pardon. Have you your father's leave? What says Polonius? I do beseech you, give him leave to go. Yeah, how do you even rule this clown? Laertes, time be thine, take thy fair hour and uh, spend it at thy will. Ring liquor. Tonight I'm gonna unleash the Great Dane. <laughs> but now my cousin Hamlet and my son you're not my real dad. A little more than kin, and less than kind. <gasps> That's from Hamlet, isn't it? Hamlet, how is it that the clouds still hang on you? That's all, my lord. I'm too much of the sun. The answers. <clears throat> uh, honey, can you get mommy a fresh margarita? Face it, son. I'm gonna rock your uncle's world. Let not thy mother lose her prayers, Hamlet. Trollop. I mean, what? I pray thee stay with us. Go not to Wittenberg. There's plenty of good state schools here. I shall in all my best obey you, madam. Good. It is a loving and a fair reply. Now go mow the lawn. Be as ourself in Denmark. Ew, your breath smells like Havarti. Come, madam. We'll be on the throne. Okay, closing time, people. Back door out. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. Or oh, that the everlasting had not fixed his cannon against self slaughter. Oh, God. How weary, stale, flat, and unprofitable seem to me all the uses of the world. Why? It is an unweeded garden. Things rank and gross possess it merely. That it should come to this. But two months dead. Nay, not so much, not two. Wait, is it Saturday today? So excellent a king. That was to this Hyperion to a satyr. So loving to my mother that he might not be teamed, the winds of heaven visit her face too roughly, and yet within a month. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Frailty, thy name is woman. I thought Frailty's name was Carl. A little month. Oh, didn't see the post there. Oh, I heard those shoes were old with which he followed my poor father's body. Like Niobe, all tears, why she? Oh God, a beast that once this cause of reason would have mourned longer. Within a month, ere yet the salt of most unrighteous tears had left the flushing in her gallant eyes, she married. Plus she's marrying Uncle Creepy. A wicked speed to post with such dexterity to ancestral sheets. It is not, nor it cannot come to good. Well, I better go get that field crest blanket they registered for. But break my heart. Or I must hold my tongue. Hail to your lordship. Good evening, sir. You can brood here. I'm done. Horatio. 
Horatio! <laughs> How's it hanging, you son of a lady? My good friend, what make you here from Wittenberg? A truant disposition, good my lord. I would not hear your enemy say so. I know you are no truant. But what is your affair, Nelsinor? We'll teach you to drink deep ere you depart. I came to see your father's funeral. I pray they do not mock me, fellow student. I think it was to see my mother's wedding. Indeed, my lord, it followed hard upon. So it worked out all right. Thrift, Horatio. Thrift. The funeral baked meats did coldly furnish forth the marriage table. Meat. Would I had met my dearest foe in heaven or ever had seen that day, Horatio. My father. He was a goodly king. I mean, he tried. He was a man. Take him for all in all. I shall not look upon his like again. Why were you looking at his like? My lord. I think I saw him yesterday night. So who? My lord, the king, your father. King, my... God's love, let me hear. And these few precepts in their memory, give thy thoughts no... Mm. Yeah, he's memorizing Tim Allen's book. Give thy thoughts no tongue, nor any unproportioned thought is act. Hi, Pops. It's a swell day. Yet here thy earth is. Observe my lice. A double blessing is a double grace. I, I, aboard, aboard, the wind sits in the shoulder of your sail, at your estate for. Dad likes me better. Now these few precepts in the memory. Give thy thoughts no tongue, nor any unproportioned thought is act. Oh. This place could use a shrub, or hell, even a stick would cheer it up. Hey, come on, man. We've seen like eight ghosts. None of them have been even close to my dad. But I will not. Time for you to buy a watch. I think it lacks of 12. No, it is struck. Indeed. The great what time is it argument from Hamlet. It then draws near the season wherein the spirit held his one to walk. You got that right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Trick or treat for nipples. What does this mean, my lord? And now my little Margie. The king. The big number one. Doth wake tonight, takes his rouse, keeps wassailing, and his swaggering upspring rears. And as he drains his draughts of Rhenish down, the kettle drum and trumpet thus bray out the triumph of his pledge. Let there be sunny D for everyone! Oh, they hired the all fanfare DJ. Hooray! Garrison Keillor's leaving Denmark! Yay! <laughs> I got a stick. <laughs> My lord, it comes. Scrooge! Oh, wrong story. Meet the Beatles. Angels and ministers of Christ defend us. Move thine ass. Beckons you to go away with it. But do not go with no. it. By no means. Why, what should be the fear? I do not set my life at a pin's fee, and for my soul, what can it do to that being a thing immortal as itself? It waves me forth again. I'll follow it. You shall not go, my lord. Hold off your hands. My fate cries mm -hmm. out, and hand me by heaven. I'll make a ghost of him that lets me. Yeah, get him, Ham. Kick his ass. Go. All right. Now, this is an action scene for this movie. Yeah, he's doing the I was told to report to the principal's office walk. I'm on my way to a costume party. I'm going as Rosalind Russell. Whither wilt thou lead me? Speak. I'll go no further. That's not what I hear, sunshine. Speak. What? <laughs> I'm bound to hear. So art thou to revenge when thou shalt hear? What? I am thy father's spirit. I've got a bit of the flu. <laughs> But that I am forbid to tell the secrets of my prison house, I could a tale unfold whose lightest word would harrow up thy soul. But this eternal blazon must not be to ears of flesh and blood. Camera two, cut to camera two. Lest, lest, oh lest. Dress for less today? If thou didst ever thy dear father love, O oh, heaven, revenge is murder, 
Murder. Murder most foul. He killed a chicken? Please me to know it. That I with wings as swift as meditation of the thoughts of love may sweep to my revenge. Tis given out that sleeping in my orchard a serpent stung me. Cut to the ghost. The ghost. Cut to the ghost. My father's life. How fast is crawled. For my prophetic soul, my uncle. I, that incestuous beast, won to his shameful lust the will of my last seeming virtuous queen. That's what I am. Sleeping within my orchard, upon my secure hour, thy uncle stole, with juice of cursed heaven in a fire, and in the porches of my ears, all the leprous distillment. Yeah. Hang on, I'm passing this down. Thus was I, sleeping by a brother's hand of life. <laughs> Oh boy, this ghost of Mike's father gag is too good. Yep, no question. A brilliantly conceived, perfectly executed bit of tomfoolery. Hello? Ah, ghost! Oh, no, help me! Hey, oh, Sorbo, it's just Mike. Oh, okay. okay. <clears throat> Mark me, for I am your father's ghost, come to tell oh, you. Oh, hey, wait a minute. No, can't be my father. He's alive and well. He runs a mail order burlap store out of Minong, Wisconsin. Don't! Uh, we didn't check on that. Uh, okay, okay. Um, uh, try his Uncle Les. I'm pretty okay, sure he's dead. I'm your Uncle Les. Mm -hmm. Oh, come no. To nope. Retired. Lives in McAllen, Texas. You know what? Pearl just forwarded another of his delightful Christmas yeah. letters. Cousin Al! Cousin Al! Okay. I'm your Cousin Al. Uh, dead no, low no, no, these two no, months. No, no. He's alive. He uh, rebuilds carburetors out of a pole shed in Sauk Rapids, Minnesota. <laughs> just sent me a price list. Uh, okay, you know, okay. You get a any leads there or other part of the ghost? Uh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Uh, Brother-in-law's ex-wife, Wanda? Yeah, okay. I am your brother-in-law. Oh, no, not Wanda. Right. She uh, works right. a pit crew up to Brainerd. She can hurl a tire 35 feet well, without even breathing. Don't your relatives ever die? It's over. Hit it, Cousin Wanda. Well, uh, first, first try as Brother Ron's karate teacher, Herb Dowden. Put a sock in it. What, you have, don't let hey, me go hey, watch hey, it. Hey, you ow, cut it out. Ow, ow, we'll right me. Back. Oh, ah! Supposed to be a duck. Mm, I love life. Oh, yeah, that was hilarious. Anyway. Stitched her hand to her knee. Mm, friend. Mm. Oh, I stuck a fork in the outlet. How about some spiral cut Hamlet? Get thee to a bakery. No wait. It's doing a Danish mind melt. Don't look, it's your Christmas present. Oh man, me and Horatio got blasted on Aquavit, woke up on the express bus to Copenhagen. Oh. What is it, boy? Uncle killed Dad? Hmm? Well, I'm gonna take off, I guess. So... Okay then. Dad, Hamlet's looking at me! Oh no, Frida, what's the matter? I'm so frightened. With what in the name of God? Your hair. As I was sewing in my closet, my lord Hamlet. She was sewing in her closet? With his doublet all embraced, pale as her shirt, his knees knocking each other, and with a look so piteous in purport, he comes before me. No one likes a tattletale, Ophelia. Mad? For their love? Lord, I do not know. But truly, I do fear it. I'm gonna get my hair relumped. Honey, what happened to all the ear poison? Boom. Yeah. What is it, cold water on the groin? I mean, Polonius. My lord, I do think that I have found the very cause of Hamlet's lunacy. He is insane. Oh, speak of that. That do I long to hear. 
Thou still hast been the father of good news. Have I, my lord, assure you, my good liege. I hold my duty as I hold my soul both to my God and to my gracious king. I know nothing. He tells me, my dear Gertrude, he hath found the source of all your son's distemper. I doubt it is no other but the main, his father's death, and our over hasty marriage. Aye. My liege and madam, your noble son is mad. Mad, call it, for to define true madness, what is but to be nothing else but mad. More matter with less art. Madam, I use no art at all. That he is mad is true. Tis true, tis pity. And pity tis, tis true. <sighs> Thus it remains. They had huge balance beams back then. Look at that. Oh, she's logging names into her palm pilot. Let me check this out. Ah, so i Japanese. Huh. Sorry. Please pray for me while I shower. What the Shroud of Turin sees. The nun sent me home. My skirt is too short. Nun. In thy orisons be all my sins remembered. Ooh, the orison lines suck the air out of the room. My prince? Are back from Photomat. How does your honor for this many a day? I don't know. Okay, I guess. I humbly thank you. Well. But could you please return my pants? My pants? Didn't come out that well. Ooh, the bench smells funny. I have remembrances of yours that I have long and long to re-deliver. I pray you now, receive them. Not I. I never gave you aught. Cha! My honored prince, you know right well you did. Right well did not. And words of so sweet breath composers made the things more rich. Their perfume lost. Take these again. For to the noble mind, rich gifts wax poor when givers prove unkind. There, my lord. Okay, fine. I'll throw them away. Are you honest? Yes. No, I lied. Are you honest? My lord. Are you fair? What means your lordship? That if you be honest and fair, your honesty should not admit no discourse to your beauty. Could beauty have better commerce, my prince, than with honesty? Aye, truly. Yeah, you know what you said. For the power of beauty will sooner transform honesty from what it is to a bore than the force of honesty can translate beauty into his likeness. This was sometime a paradox. But now the time gives it proof. Huh? What do you think of them apples? I did love you once. I, my prince, who made me believe so. You should not have believed me. I loved you not. Well, I always thought you were gay. I was the more deceived. Get it to a nunnery. Why wouldst thou be a breeder of sinners? Be a breeder of schnauzers. I am myself indifferent honest, but yet I could accuse me of such things that it were better my mother had not born me. A very proud, revengeful, ambitious. Oh, he's Republican. We are errant knaves all. Believe none of us. Can you set me up with Horatio? <laughs> I shut her down, man. Where's your father? Bastard owes me ten kroners. At home, my lord. Ophelia, Sam Wainwright's on the phone. Let the doors be shut upon him, that he may play the fool nowhere but in his own house. <laughs> Whoa, Jackson Brownlet. Uh, thank you, but I don't need CPR. Thank you. If thou dost marry, I'll give thee this plague for thy dowry. Be thou as chaste as ice, as pure as snow. Thou shalt not escape calumny. Get thee to a nunnery. Go, farewell. You're doing fine, honey. It's all yours. You got him. Oh, oh if thou wilt needs marry, marry a fool. <laughs> For wise men know well enough. What monsters you make of them. To a nunnery. Go, farewell. Ah, it just gets my tights in a bundle. Your oh, heavenly powers, restore him. I've heard of your paintings too, well enough. God has given you one face, and you make yourselves another. You jig, you amble, and you lisp, you nickname God's creatures, and make you wantonness, your ignorance. Go to our no more. 
It has made me mad. That has made me mad! I'm not here! I say, we will have no more marriages. Those that are married, all, all but one, shall long live. The rest shall keep as they are. I am back, you miss me? To a nun, Mariko. Well, actually, I may go to grad school. <laughs> oh, what a noble mind is here, Arthrone. <laughs> the courtier, soldier, scholar's eye, tongue, sword, expectancy, and rose of the fair state. Lass of fashion and the mold of form all down. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Woe is me to have seen what I have seen. See what I, what I see. <laughs> Thank you for cooperating with the Copenhagen police. You can take off the wire now. How now, Ophelia? You did not tell us what Lord Hamlet said. We heard it all. He's far gone. Far gone. And truly in my youth, I suffered much extremity for love. Very near this. Love? Here? Now? No. His affections do not retend, nor what he spake, though it lacked form a little, was not like madness. I'll speak to him. I'm just going to run to the pot machine first. Rap artist Notorious K-I-N-G. Hi, I'm an Oliver Reed stand-in. Woe is me. Woe is me. I've seen what I have seen. Mary Pickford has a feel. See? What I see. Stupid, stupid Hamlet. What was I thinking? Hey, Kilroy. To be or not to be. The verbal equivalent of da 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 da. That is the question. I'll take to be for 50, Alex. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Starring Shelley Long and Bette Midler. Or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing, end them. Ow, my shin's right on the edge of a stair. Oh. To die. To sleep. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now, bub. No more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Okay, we need a predicate now. It's a consummation devoutly to be wished. Especially with Ophelia, man. Oh, you. To die. To sleep. To sleep! Whoa, that's an old chestnut. To sleep. To sleep. Okay. A chance to dream? The impossible dream? Aye, there's the rub. I knew I had some rub left. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There is the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient ding, merit ding, of the unworthy ding. takes, when he himself might his quietus make with a bare botkin. He said bare botkin. <laughs> <laughs> Who would fardels bear fardels. to grunt and sweat and a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others Sum up! that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native view of resolution is sickled over with the pale cast of thought. And enterprises of great pitch and moment with this regard their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. So I'm a chicken for not stabbing myself. That's all you needed to say. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. What's worse than clowns? Danish clowns. Danish clowns, the damp, smelly, silverfish-infested basement of the clown world. <laughs> Okay, out, out, out. All of you, get out, you get out, out. It's a herd of Hamlets. 
We can't get rid of them, it's hopeless. It's Hamlet Man. Da, 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 da. Welcome, masters. Welcome all. Except you, condom hat there. I am glad to see you well. Welcome, good friend. Nice use of host of snowballs. Old friend, thy face is valent since I saw thee last. <laughs> what, my young lady? Your ladyship? How's lesbianism going? It's nearer to heaven by the altitude of a chopin than when I saw you last. Pray God your voice like a piece of uncurrent gold be not crooked within the ring. I hope not so, my lord. Welcome all. We'll leave into it like French falconers. Fly at anything we see. We'll have a speech straight. Come, give us a taste of your quality. And I said quality, not idiocy. Well, a passionate speech. Come here, we gotta talk. Can you play the murder of Gonzago? Aye, my lord. We'll have that tomorrow night. You could for need... Lose the clowns. ...study a speech of some dozen or sixteen lines, which I would set down and insert it. Could you not? Hey, hey, hey. Aye, my lord. There you are. Yeah, and I want Elizabeth Berkeley to play the lead, okay? That's an excellent idea. Well, thank you. Hey, yeah. where have you guys been? I haven't seen you around at all. Oh, sorry, Mike. We've been in the middle of rehearsals for our own version of Hamlet. It's going to be sort of a modern, abstract interpretation sort of thing, you know? Oh, so kind of like the works of Richard Schechner or Heiner Mueller or yeah. well, countless college directors. Oh, yeah. It, it's a timeless drama, Mike. Everybody should take a shot at it. <laughs> yeah, there's just so many ways to render the play, Mike. We even got as far as storyboarding a few ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike, help us out there. Oh, you get sure. Now, here's what we came up with for our scuba diving version. Pretty powerful stuff, huh? Mm. Yeah. And then we considered a bucket head Hamlet. The buckets, of course, symbolizing modern man's faceless conformity. Yeah, but it didn't really pan out. Well, then we were right in the middle of rehearsals with our all-furniture version. <laughs> oh, we were having so much fun. Mm -hmm. The sofa that was playing Gertrude was a delight. Yes, but then our backers pulled out just days before the opening. The footstools were pretty upset. Yeah. Well, I think all the furniture was. Yeah, they were. But, but that brings us to our percussion version of Hamlet. The bongos here represent Ophelia. And obviously these maracas are Hamlet. Now allow us to perform a part of Act 3, Scene 1. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, excuse me, we got movie sign. We can pick this up later. Give it, Jed, you. We're just getting to the murder, Mike. Hang on. Yeah, it's baby. Go. Yeah. Now is the winter of our... Oh, damn, wrong play. About my brains. Upon which I sit. <laughs> I'll have these players play something like the murder of my father before my uncle. I'll observe his looks. I'll tent him to the quick. If he but blench, I know my course. If he but parboil, well... Then that's... The spirit that I've seen may be a devil. Yeah, and perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy abuses me to damn me. I'll have grounds more relative than this. You should start journaling. The play is the thing. A bada 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 bing. Wherein I catch the conscience of the king. A ring a ding 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 ding. Is he boy girl, boy girl, me? Okay. Wow, the dinner rush is here. Look lively, people. It's the slow walking race in the front, Lillian and Bob are losing. Listen, the Hamlets always have a kick-ass party to each. Yeah. Um, they can see you, Hamlet. Shoot, Frank Rich is out there. Come, get ready. We have a small but spirited house. Horatio! Here, sweet lord, at your service. Good, go wash my car. There's a plate tonight before the king. One scene of it comes near the circumstance which I've told thee of my father's death. With the very comment of thy soul, observe my uncle. If his occulted guilt do not itself unkennel in one speech, it is a damned ghost that we have seen. I suppose there's no chance there's going to be a jet ski chase in this movie, is there, Mike? Look, Polonius is riding in my sleeve. 
Ugh, mom's wearing our pej. I can smell it from here. I'm now live from Elsinore. I guess. <laughs> hey, how's everyone doing tonight? Good to see you. Hey, I need a volunteer from the audience. Come here, my dear Hamlet. Sit by me. Thanks, my hosebag. I, I mean, Mom. No, good mother. Here's metal more attractive. You are made out of metal, right, Ophelia? Did you hear that? Totally dusted my mom. Lady, shall I lie in your lap? No, my prince. I mean my head in your lap. I am my prince. Okay, now it's just creepy. Forget it. Do you think I meant country matters? I think nothing, my prince. Shakespeare blue. That's a fair thought to lie between maids' legs. What is my prince? A complete perv? Nothing. You are Mary, my prince. Who? I? I am my prince. Oh, God, your only jig make. What should a man do but be merry? For look you how cheerfully my mother looks and my father died within two hours. Nay, it is twice two months, my prince. So long? Is that 32, Mike? <laughs> died two months ago and not forgotten yet. We totally rule, man. Run DMC Everett Coop. For us and for our tragedy, here stooping to your clemency, we beg your hearing patiently. Is this a prologue or the posy of a ring? It is brief, my prince. As woman's love. And now the tragedy of King Vitaman. Full 30 times Ooh, have we been you marked on round off the stage. Neptune's salt wash and Tellus orbit ground. Since love our hearts and hymen did our hands unite commutual in most sacred bands. So many journeys may the sun Let's and sneak moon make us cabaret. again count I our think love so. Again. But woe is me, you're so sick of late, so far from she and from your former state that I distrust <laughs> you. Yet though I distrust <laughs> discomfort you, my lord, it nothing must. Yeah. For women's fear and love hold quality Go. in neither art or Rock in it. Take it home now. Faith, oh, I must do it. leave thee, love. And shortly, too, my opera and power their functions leave to do. And thou shalt live in this fair world behind, oh. honored, The production that likes to show people watching other people. Thou... Confound the rest. Such love must needs be treason in my breast. In second husband, let me I don't me know. I think curse. it's pretty funny. <laughs> None wed the second, but who killed the first. That's Wormwood. It is not Wormwood. Would you shut up? The second marriage move our base respect of thrift, but none of love. No earth to give me food, no heaven Oof. light. Spot and repose, luck for me day and night. Man, at least they get to drink Both at the globe. Both hands pursue me lasting strife. If once a widow, ever I be wife. If she should Shh. break it now. The unwrapping candies sworn. next. Sweet, leave me here a while. My spirits grow dull, and fain I would beguile the tedious day with sleep. My geometrically perfect Please neck oils are hurting. And never come mischance between us twain. All right! Good droning. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Entertainment was much easier back then, Mike. So do -do -do. Madam, how like you this play? Uh, the lady does protest so much, me thinks. Oh, but she'll keep her word. Have you heard the argument? Is there no offense in it? <laughs> no, no, they do but jest. Poison and jest, no offense in the world. Hey, there's gum back here. What do you call the play? The mouse trap. This play is the image of a murder done in Vienna. You shall see a nunth is a knavish piece of work. But what of that? Your majesty and we that have free souls, it touches us not. Let the gall a jade wins, our withers are unwrung. <laughs> this one is Luciano's uh, nephew to the king. Begin, mother! Leave thy damnable faces and begin. Anyway, Come. enjoy the show. The crow king raven doth bellow for revenge. Thoughts black, hands up, drugs fit, and time agreeing. Confederate sees and else no creature seen. Thou mixed your rank of midnight weeds collected with Hecate's band for his blasted infected. Thy natural magic and dire property. Unwholesome life usurps immediately. He poisons him in the garden for his estate. His name is Gonzago. The story is extant and written in very choice Italian. You shall see anon how the murderer gets the love of Gonzago's wife. You get it, huh? Huh? You get it, huh? <laughs> Lights! Lights! Camera! Soliloquy! What? Frightened with false fire! 
Ooh, careful with that. I've got a ton of final net in my hair. Quiet. Can't I pee in peace? I like him not. I like him not. Nor stands it safe with us to let his madness range. With rich Corinthian leather. Therefore prepare you. I, your commission, will forthwith dispatch. Yeah, but I'm drawn against commission. And he to England shall along with you. The terms of our estate may not endure hazards so near us as to foully grow out of his prey. Now which one of you is Squiggy? Arm you, I pray you, to this speedy voyage. Scram, beat it. They gotta be gay. For we will fet a spoot about this fear, which now goes too free-footed. Yeah. <laughs> My good lord. I'm out of styling, Moose. He's going to his mother's closet. Behind the Arras Alcolobe, myself, to hear the process. Fare you well, my liege. <laughs> and you go to yeah. bed, I'll call upon you and tell you what I know. I saw this on Three's Company once. Thanks, dear my lord. Um, he's already gone. To be or not... Oh, sorry. Wrong character. Oh, my offense is rank. Now your tunic's rank, too. Woof! Smells to heaven. It hath a primal eldest curse upon it. A brother's murder. Somehow I feel partially responsible. Pray can I not. Though inclination be as sharp as will. Wheaton. Ah. My stronger guilt defeats my strong intent. Oh, I must be careful. And like a man to double business bound, I stand in pause where I shall first begin. And both neglect. What if... Nah, that would be like the fifth time today. If this cursed hand were thicker than itself with brother's blood. Well, thin it with a little chicken stock. Is there not rain enough in the sweet heavens? Wash it white as snow. Uh, hey, the clowns need their money. Can I get a check? Oh, what form of prayer can serve my turn? Oh, what fun it is to ride. Forgive me my foul murder. It's just that turkey was mouthing off to me. <laughs> that cannot be. Since I am still possessed of those effects for which I did the murder. My crown, my own ambition, and my queen. My queen albums, I mean. You want me pardon and retain the fence. Now might I do it? Now it's Pat. This play's losing me. Now who's Pat? He's praying. And now I'll do it. I'm just gonna lightly stab him. <laughs> Nosferatu! Wow, my uncle's got a great ass. No wonder Mom's into him. You know he's just beating back a monologue right now. Oh, yeah. And so he goes yeah. to heaven. And so am I revenged? Why, this is iron salary, not revenge. When he's drunk asleep or in his rage on the incestuous pleasure of his bed, then trip him that his ears may kick at heaven and his soul may be as damned and black as hell where to it goes. Damn, I'm interesting. My mother stays. This physic but prolongs thy sickly days. That sickly days downtown Copenhagen. I'll come back later, see if he's drinking in horror, and then I'll kill him. Tell him his pranks have been too broad to bear with, and that your grace has screened and stood between much heat and him. Hogan! I'll silence me in here and shall overhear his speech. Pray you be round with him. <laughs> You use my razor. I warrant you, fear me not. Withdraw, he's coming. Fran Allison, Queen of Denmark. She's got mod wear on. Hey, her occasional chair just found an occasion. <laughs> what do you know? Now, Mother, what's the matter? Hamlet, thou hast thy father much offended. Mother, you have my father much offended. Come, come, you answer with an idle tongue. Go, go, you question with a wicked tongue. Why, how now, Hamlet? What's the matter now? Don't you sass me or you're grounded. Have you forgotten me? No, by the rood. You are the queen, your husband's brother's wife, and would it were not so, you are my mother. 
Good. I'll set those to you that can speak. Come. Let's tango. You shall not budge. You go not till I set you up a glass where you may see the inmost part of you. Ooh. What wilt thou do? Thou wilt not murder me. Help! Help! <laughs> Help! 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 Uh, no, no, not the service master ah. guy. Oh. Dad! Shame. Dad for Ducket! Dad! What hast thou done? Nay, I know not. Is it the king? Oh, what a rash and bloody deed is this. Aye, a bloody deed. Almost as bad could mothers kill a king and marry with his brother. Oh, bring that up again. Kill a king? Aye! Toss my lord! Give me back my son! <clears throat> oh, the candied sardines are repeating on me. How wretched, rash, intruding fool. Oh, right, it's my fault you killed me. Oh, well. I took thee for thy better. Take thy fortune. Well, we need a new Polonius. That was the royal antechamber. Stay together, people. There's the throne room. Oh, and we're in luck. The king's here. Couldst thou walk slower? Jeez! Now, Hamlet? About your report card. Where is Polonius? At supper. At supper? Where? Not where he eats, but where he's eaten. <laughs> Certain convocation of politic worms are even at him. Ooh, mood swing. Your worm is your only emperor for diet. A man may fish with the worm that hath eat of a king and eat of the fish that are fed of that worm. What does that mean by this? Nothing but to show you how a king may go a progress through the guts of a beggar. That is the end. That was directed at me, wasn't it? Get the belt. Where is Polonius? He came down with an unexpected case of murder. In heaven. Send thither to see. If your messenger find him not there, seek him yourself. In the other place. H-E double toothpicks. But indeed, if you find him not within this month... King Richard Thompson. You shall nose him as you go up the stairs into the lobby. Let's go up to the lobby. Go. Seek him there. He will stay till you come. Oh, ice cream headache. Woof. Oh. Oh. He just started his estrogen. Hey, come on, you wuss. I didn't cry after I killed your dad. Hamlet. Yeah. For thine special safety, which we do tender. Uh-huh. <laughs> As we dearly grieve for that which thou hast done. Okay. Must send thee hence uh. with fiery quickness. Quickness. <laughs> Prepare thyself. Uh -huh. The bark is ready, and the wind that help, the associates tend. <laughs> and everything is bent. For England. Bad for England. <laughs> for England. My Hamlet. Good. So is it. If thou knewest our purposes. I see a cherub. In thy nose. That sees them. Come. For England. Uh, oh, I'll need some money. Good night, dear mother. Thy loving father. Hamlet. My mother. Father and mother's man and wife, man and wife is one flesh, and so my mother. Uh, yeah, go a lot to England, okay? Come! For England! Brown! Would you just get over it? Those thrones need some lime away. Hi guys, where's my dad? Hail Queen Dilbert's boss. Was he dressing up for Charlie Sheen? Ta-da! Oh. oh, thou vile king. Give me my father. Oh, my goodness. Where are my sweet sirs? Good Laertes. Call me. Let him go. <laughs> Mother's drunk, sorry. Petra, do not fear our person. Yum, Dane kebabs. There is such divinity doth hedge your king. That treason can but peep to what it would, acts little of his will. 
Tell me, Laertes. Why are those incensed? Let yeah. him go, Gertrude. Speak, man. Where's my father? Dead. But not by him. Let him demand his fill. How came he dead? I'll not be juggled with. I'm not a small sack of beans. To hell allegiance. Bows to the blackest devil. I dare damnation. To this point I stand. That both the worlds are given to negligence. Let come what comes. Only I'll be revenged most truly for my father. Who shall stay you? Don't tell him that, you idiot. Good Laertes. If you desire to know the certainty of your dear father, it is sweet in your revenge. That soup steak you will draw both friend and foe, winner soup and soup. loser. None but his enemies. <sighs> now you speak like a good child and a true gentleman. That I am guiltless of your father's death, Laertes. He's wearing dental x-rays around his neck. And the most sensibly in grief for it. It shall as level to your judgment be here. As day does to your eye. Okay, Gertrude, tackle him! New King Claudius with Kung Fu Grip. Ooh, get the net, huh? Uh, oh, no, it's Jewel. Get her out of here. I've got a brand new pair of roller skates. And in his grave rain many a tear. She's toting around a big bok choy. Very well, my dove. Mm -hmm. She's trying to section eight her way out of the movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My madness shall be paid by weight. So what, about 110 pounds of madness? Beloved sister. He looks like a cheerleader for a southern football team. Hast thou thy wits and didst persuade revenge? It could not move thus. There's Rosemary. And Maury Amsterdam. That's for remembrance. Sorry. Pray you, my love, remember. And there's pansies. That's for thoughts. Try to get one. <laughs> People love my wheat act. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? But, oh, yeah, you're gluten intolerant. Hmm. There's fennel for you and columbines. We may call it herbal grace for Sundays. There's rue for you mm. and some for me. No, no, really, I ate before I came. Oh, you must wear your rue with a difference. <laughs> <laughs> I would give you some violets. But they withered all. When my father died, they say he made a good end. Hmm? And will he not come again? Uh-huh. Hey, what are you having a rye? And will he not come again? So you didn't take your Zoloft, huh? He is gone. He is gone, and we cast away moan. God have mercy on his soul. And of all Christian souls, I pray God, God be with you. Do you see this, mm -hmm. oh God? I'm going over to Lady Macbeth's. Laertes, I must commune with your grief. Would you stop rubbing my nipples? Or you deny me right. Make choice of whom your wisest friends who will, and they shall judge twixt you and me. Don't get a boner. And where the offense is, let the great axe fall. So we're going to chop wood. You have to be so dramatic. There's a letter for you, sir. It came from the ambassador that was bound for England. Um, there's postage due. Yeah. Let's see. Here. Ophelia invoiced me for the wheat. There we were two days old at sea. A pirate of very warlike appointment gave us chase. <sighs> Finding ourselves too slow of sail, we put on a compelled valor, and in the gravel I boarded them. On the instant they got clear of our ship, so I alone became their prisoner. Hamlet faxed me a soliloquy. They have dealt with me like thieves of mercy. <laughs> but they knew what they did. Let the king have the letters I have sent, and repair thou to me as quickly as thou wouldst try death. These good fellows... Hmm, I don't know about that. ...will bring thee where I am. Our words to speak in thine ear will make thee dumb. Farewell. He that thou knowest is thine. Hamlet. I could crap a better letter than this. Oh, man, I just played handball. Oh. My contacts are fine. Here it is. Your sister is drowned. Drowned, you say? 
somewhere. Well, she jumped in a lake trying to save some wheat. There is. Oh. A willow grows upon the brook that shows its hornies in the glassy stream. There did she come with fantastic garlands. So, the creek. Hey. Hey, do I rock the slurping machine when you're trying to work? How long will a man lie at the earth ere he rot? Faith, if he be not rotten before he die, he will last you some eight or nine years. A tanner will last you nine years. Why, he more than another. Why, sir, his hide is so tanned with his tray that he will keep out water a great while. <laughs> and your water is a sort of care of your horse and dead body. Here's a skull. Not a bad skull. Good starter skull. Now hath lying you in the earth three and twenty years. Mm -hmm. Whose was it? A pestilence on him for a mad row. Mm -hmm. I ought to. Poured a flagon of Rhenish on my head once. <laughs> 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 the same skull, sir, was Sir Yorick's skull. The king's jester. This. I, I just saw him at the chuckle hut. Aye, aye. In that. Let me see. Mmm, nice zygomatic arch. I remember him in his big pointy shoes, stupid hat. He had the worst act, I swear. Last poor York. Hey, I did all right for myself. I knew him, Horatio. I sat next to him in Trig. A fellow of infinite jest, huh? of most excellent fancy. He has bore me on his back a thousand times. Of course, I bored him a lot, too. <laughs> and now, how abhorred in my imagination it is. Wait, oh, this isn't York, this is George Goble. You hung those lips that I've kissed and none at half. You're a little cutie pie skull, aren't you, with your little button nose, your little cutie skull? Copy your jibes now. You gambled. So they banned you from jesting. Your songs. Your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on the roar. Not one now to mock your own grinning. Well, there was that one mow that mocked it. You quite chap fine. I'll get you to my lady's chamber and tell her that her paint an inch thick. Mm -hmm. To this favor she must come. Go. Oh, you can't laugh at that. Uh, please speak up. My tympatic membrane rotted away some years ago. Horatio, tell me one thing. Mm -hmm. Does thou think Alexander looked at this fashion of the earth? I don't know, man. Let's go to the tavern. Ain't so. Smelt, so. Always did, too. <laughs> so. Yeah, forget it. I never knew him. <laughs> I made it all up. To what base use is for return, Horatio? Oh my God, that's not dirt! Why may not imagination trace the noble dust of Alexander till it find it stopping a bunghole? Dude, <laughs> right. <laughs> to, to consider too curiously, to consider so. No, no. Alexander died. Alexander was buried. Alexander returneth to dust. The dust is earth. Of earth we make loam. <laughs> yeah. And while that loam whereto he was converted, might they not stop a beer barrel? It's the ice cream man! Here comes my cow, I gotta go. Welcome to a last poor who? Now, as you know, last week our reigning champion, Mr. Tom Servo, won the Fortnite supply of mutton. And he's back this week to face another challenger. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Tom, uh, remind the folks at home what you do again. Mike, uh, I'm a small robot who lives with you. Robot who lives with me. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, and your challenger, Crow T Robot. How are you, sir? Uh, feeling good, Mike. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And what do you do, sir? Uh, I am also a small robot who lives with you. Wow, seems to be a popular job these days. <laughs> <laughs> it <certainly is>. oh. <clears throat> Let's get down to action. Okay, for you folks at home, the object of the game is to visually identify a person by some part of his or her skeletal system. And Servo, you'll be starting with this lovely femur. Ooh. Okay. You have 10 seconds, go. Let's see, alas, poor Larry Hagman. Oh, no, no. Alas, poor Catherine Graham. No, alas, poor Don Oh, I got it. Alas, poor Biz Marquis. 
Exactly. Hey. This marquee. This Woo. is his femur. <laughs> Surprisingly delicate, isn't it? <laughs> All right, well played. Now, Pro, you ready to give it a whirl? Oh, I sure am, Mike. Okay, then here's a clavicle. Whose is it? Wow, I want to say Tim Conway, uh, but no, more like Dr. Dean Ornish, um, Jermaine Greer, Peter Cetera. Geez, no, no, no. I'm going to go with Nancy Allen, Mike. Please state it in Alas Poor form. Oh, yeah. Uh, Alas Poor Nancy Allen. Is right. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's a fine clavicle she has there. Must have drank lots of milk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's Ooh. all tied up. Uh, Servo, who belongs to this ilium? Oh, that's easy, Mike. Alas, poor Alaska Senator Ted Stevens. Oh, uh, uh, wait. No, I'm sorry. Uh, alas, poor Roland Gift. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with alas, poor Roland Gift. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Alas, poor Alaska Senator Ted Stevens. Oh, darn. <laughs> Close, though. Okay, uh, Crow, now you could win with this one. So wow. Watch okay. carefully. Okay. Whose are these series of metatarsal bones? Oh, oh, I know this one. Easy. Ralph Waite. They are indeed the metatarsals of Yay. Ralph Waite. <laughs> but alas, incorrect huh? form for the second time, and so you don't get the points. And so nobody wins, and you both lose, and that's all the time we have. <laughs> we'll be back next week with another edition of Alas Poor Who. Uh, Mike, we won't really be back next week, will we? Not unless I get a cod piece. <laughs> Ah, Mount St. Olaf's Day Parade is pretty dour this year. Hey, kid, you want to speed it up? We got three of these today. Hmm? Ugh, I can barely keep my head cake on. What ceremony else? Shut up. Our obsequies have been as far enlarged as we have warranty. A death was doubtful. Well, shouldn't we check then? Oh, sir, no more be done. No more. Gee, your tunic smells terrific. Uh, with the legs, we do not have time to take a beef eater to the hospital. Oh, man, I was invited to this. I forgot. Farewell. Well, that's really an all-purpose dress. I hope thou shouldst have been my Hamlet's wife. Yes, I, I thought thy bride bed to a deck to be made, and not have strewed thy grave. A failure. I wonder what her skull is like. Hold off the earth a while. Stop the world. I want to get off. Even in death, he just goes in her room. I'll pile your dust upon the Quaker dead. Till all this flat a mountain you have made. Go on top of me. No. All oh, the sky is held of blue old lip. Oh. What is he? Whose grief bears such an emphasis, whose phrase of sorrow conjures the wandering stars and makes them stand like wonder wounded hearers. Whew. This is I, Hamlet, the Dean. The devil take thy soul. <laughs> I pray thee take thy fingers from my throat. Hold off thy hand, I say. Break them asunder. Good, my lord! Be quiet! It's supposed to be an Irish funeral. They're both drunk and fighting. Why? I will fight with him upon this theme until my eyelids will no longer work. I love Ophelia! We went steady! Forty thousand brothers could not, with all their quantity of love, make up my sum. Fifty thousand, maybe. What wilt thou do for her? Swan, show me what thou do! Boom, boom. I'm trying to be dead in here. Would weep. Would fight, would fast, would tear thyself, would drink a bison, eat a crocodile, I'll do it. Dost thou come here to whine, to outface me with leaping into a grave? He's getting Germaner. He buried quick with her, and so will I. And thou mouth I rent as well as thou. This is mere madness. Oh, my son. Loser tease. Craplet. Hear you, sir. What is the reason that you use me thus? I loved you ever. Okay, was it her or me? But it is no matter. Cat will mew, and Doc will have his day. Pomeranian day, Dachshund day, Lhasa Apso day. Wait, wait, I'm supposed to be in front of you. Hold up.
Hey, Laertes, lean on a headstone. It's fun. Will you be ruled by me? Well, I've got an attractive offer from the King of Flanders. I, my lord. So you will not overrule me to a peace with thine own peace. Hey, listen, I got some Cuban cigars, man. I will work him to an exploit under the which he shall not choose but fall. And for his death no wind of blame shall breathe, but even his mother shall uncharge the practice and call it accident. My lord, I will be ruled. Wide rule or college rule? <laughs> the rather if you could devise it so, that I might be the organ. It falls right. Yes. What would you undertake to show yourself indeed your father's son more than in words? Cut his throat in the church. Now, see, that's a little over the top. No place indeed should murder sanctuaries. Revenge should have no bounds. But good Laertes, uh, we put on those shall praise your excellence. What about my church idea? And set a double varnish on the fame, bring your fine together and wager on your heads. He, being free from all contriving, will not peruse the foils so with ease. Or, with a little mm -hmm. shuffling, mm -hmm. you may choose a sword unbated that in the pass of practice requite him for your father. I will do it. I'll cut his throat in a church. And for that purpose, I'll anoint my sword. Well, that's up to you. I've bought an unction of a mountebank. Wow. I've touched the point with this contagion. Right. That if yes. I call him slightly... Getting it. Yes, yes, go on. It may be death. And cut his throat in a church. No, get kissed. If this should fail. We're boned, man. I have it. Cut his throat in a church. When in your motion you're hot and dry, as make your bouts more violent to that end, and that it calls for drink, I'll have prepared him a chalice for the nuns, whereon but sipping. If he by chance escape your venom stuck, <laughs> our purpose may hold there. Um, there's a phone call. Cut his throat in the church. I gotta smack him. Would you just get over here? Group lice check. Hey, the band's got a new song. I like this song, man. I haven't gotten to my tax agenda yet. Healthcare, this amulet thing's been tying me all up. Synchronize royal asses and... Yes. We've decided to cut his throat in a church. Hello? <laughs> this is the theme to Hamlet Show. The Hamlet Show theme. Good luck. Hamlet, come. Sit, stay, good Hamlet. Take this hand from me. Wipe spit on it, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> da <laughs> face. Give me your pardon, sir. What are you, Nixon? I've done you wrong. But pardoned as a gentleman. This presence knows and you must needs have heard how I am punished with a sore distraction. What I have done, I have proclaimed, was madness. Was Hamlet wrong, Laertes? No. Not even close. His madness is poor Hamlet's enemy. I hate that Our House song, you know? Wow, that was the limpest, wettest handshake ever. Give us the foils. We shall some potatoes bake. Wow, that's not a widow's peak that guy has, it's a peninsula. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, give me my gun. Oh, oh there's a bee! Uh. This is too heavy. Let me see another. Yeah, real smooth. Hamlet's parents in the stand. Give him a hand. If Hamlet hits... We'll do a sequel. Let all the battlements their ordnance fire. 
The king shall drink to Hamlet's better breath. Thank you, Corpsio. Yes, sir. And in the cup and union shall he throw. Richer than that which four successive kings in Denmark's crown have worn. Here, there's a little schmutz on that. And let the kettle to the trumpet speak. Mm -hmm. The trumpet to the cannoneer without. The cannons to the heavens. The heaven to earth. Now the king drinks to Hamlet. Hell, the king drinks to anything. Ah, I got the worm. Come, begin. And you, the judges, bear a wary eye. Our celebrity judges from the cast of Baywatch. All right, I'm going to toss the coin, Laertes, if you will call. Would you just fight? And the round's over. <laughs> Laertes immediately bites his ear off. Wait, huh? Wait, wait watch it. What? What? Careful. Watch it. Hey, hey. Know that. Wait. One, no. Judgment. A hit. A palpable hit. <laughs> well, wow, what do you know? A chance to drink. Ah, finished scud missile just exploded. <laughs> so when do they start selling stolen merchandise? It's a different kind of fencing. Oh, okay. I am so baked. Ugh. There isn't a bad seat in the arena. You're right on top of the action. <laughs> a hit on neither side. Man, I'm Simon LeBon. <laughs> I suck. Stay. Hmm? Give me a drink. You, give me a drink too. <laughs> Hamlet, this pearl is thine. Sir, you dropped a huge tablet in your cup. Here. Held. Coming to a sudden end. I'll play this bout first. But it's cherry flavored kids' poison. He should love it. Hello, everybody. Take me out of the sword fight. <laughs> we want a fencer, not a belly yet, answer. Touch, touch, I do confess. We are to be married. Let me have a go. I'll fence your ass back to the Stone Age. Come, Hamlet. Let me wipe thy face. I hope the next poison's for me. Our son shall win. Oh, booze. Gimme. The queen carouses to thy fortune, Hamlet. Whatever. <laughs> Get through that. Do not drink. Are you stupid? I will, my lord. I pray you pardon me. Ah, the Queen's suicide fanfare. Da, da, da. No. Oh, oh, so you didn't get the poison memo, huh? Ah, great. Well. I'm not looking forward to the Danish single scene again. My lord, I'll hit him now. Forget it, lamer tease. Boy, I drank a lot of that. It was really good. Look, shut up. Come on, bring it on, sweet meat. Come on. That is come, you batalis. I pray you pass with your best warrants. I'm afraid you make a wanton of me. Say you so? Come on. They're fencing. <laughs> the Royal Bactine. That's cool.
My nipple came off, you jerk! You've got pine tar on yours. Uh, the king told me to. Man, I'm hungry. Oh. Yeah, see, see, I don't trust a sporting event done in tights and puffy shirts. Mm. Now my patented spaz move. Hey! Oh, hi! They bleed on both sides. How is it, my lord? Perhaps my impending baldness can help. I just be killed with my own treachery. Don't eat the green sardines. How does the queen? Right, they call it Dayquil, but still. Oh, boy. She swoons to see them bleed. Oh no. The drink. The drink. One last old fashioned before I die. Oh, my dear Hamlet. The hair mold is in the. Uh. Hamlet. Get off your mom. Thou art slain. No medicine in the world can do thee good. In thee there is not half an hour's life. The treacherous instrument is in thy hand. You mean mom? Unbated and envenomed. My mother's poisoned. I can no more. The king's to blame. The king. Long blame the king! Envenomed. Whoa, just had that sharpened. Envenomed, too. I work. You're under Danish arrest. Okay, okay. Mistakes were made. Uh, now the king peels off his skin and becomes a dinosaur from Mars. Yeah. Oh, I guess not. Oh, come on, Hammy, hamster. Damn, the music. Something's gonna happen. I can't stand it. It's really building up to something. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Defend me, friend. I am but wounded. Here, incestuous murderers damn the Dane. Oh. Drink off this potion. Okay, better make out a will. I, Claudius. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell that joke when I'm dying. Hey, Hamlet. Why don't you ramlet? Yeah, shut up, Claudius. ass. Is thy union here? Federation of Kings, Local 12. Follow my mother. She called for directions. Mm, too bad he's poison intolerant. Check out our Pieta impression. Exchange forgiveness with me, noble Hamlet. Sure, you got a receipt? <laughs> Mine and my father's death come not upon thee. Although you did stab him and all. Oh, thine on me. Well, let's have coffee next week. Oh, yeah, we'll be dead. That's right. Heaven make thee free of it. I follow thee. Hold me, elongated Phil Collins. <sighs> he died with a booger on his forehead. You gonna be needing a second? Cause my guy died, so. Well, we'll be seeking volunteers to rule Denmark now. I've been taking echinacea and vitamin C, so I should be okay. Uh, who died and made you king? Horatia. You're standing on my foot. I am dead. I had to work through lunch today. Oh. At a bad time. I would have painted the garage. As this first Sergeant Death is strict in his arrest. Sergeant Death? He's mm. WWF, right? Right. Oh, I could tell you who. Is there a word in the English language he hasn't said? But let it be. Wait, what was I talking about? Horatia. What a stupid name. Oh, lives. 
It pulled me in my claws. Yeah, the globe crowd is just waiting for the bear baiting to start. Never believe it. Here's your Sundaka left. I haven't let go. Ooh, thanks, because it was really kind of an empty gesture. What a wounded name, friend. Things standing thus unknown shall live behind me. Mm-hmm. If thou didst ever hold me in thy heart. Right. In this harsh world, draw thy sure. uh -huh. breath and pain. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. To tell my right. story. Okay, die now. Boo! Boo! You're Boo. dead. You're dying. Boo! Boo! Boo. 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 And dead. Dead. I am dead. Forgot to do that paper. I am so dead. Hey, I think. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, come on! Eight. Groundlings are all hitting the exits by now. Boy. Rest silence. Yeah, I wish. Okay. Peace. What do you think? I don't believe it. Come deadness? On. Yes. Have we achieved deadness? Dead. Dead. Yo, Hamlet. Good night, sweet prince. Good night! And flights of angels sing me to the rest. Unfortunately, they're northwest flights of angels, so they'll be late. Before you die, does my palm smell like Cheetos? You know, they better get him out of there before he melts, thaws, and resolves himself into a dew. Yeah, that can be a problem. Let four captains bear Hamlet like a soldier to the stage. Captain Spaulding, Captain Kangaroo, Captain Crunch. But he was likely had he been put on to have proved most royal. Sounds like Mr. Peabody's about to start. <laughs> Hamlet will be back in Thunderball. Well, Mike, this has convinced me not to kill your dad and marry your mom. <laughs> Well, at least when the Germans are doing this, it can't be up to any mischief. So, Spatzel, the Cats and Jammer kids, and this. Thanks, Germany! <laughs> hey! Filthy misogynist Paul Verhoeven played the great dude, you know. With Adolf Schleichen, 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 Schedel, Schelp, Schleichen, 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 <laughs> Danish consultant, Victor Borga. Sardines, courtesy King Oscar. Look for special Hamlet promotional cans. Also try Rosencrantz and Guildenstern Kipper Snacks. And Laertes, packed in heavy oil. Mm. Man, I tell you, between this movie and the heating system on the Volkswagen... <laughs> got shock. Oh, yeah, this was munching, all right. <laughs> <laughs> nice play, Shakespeare. So, you guys made a Hamlet action figure, huh? Yep. Uh huh. Anything remarkable about it? Typical action figure? You just kind of... Move it around, that's the action. Well, that's about it. Pretty much. Well, you might want to pull the string there. Oh, yeah. It's kind of nice. Oh, it talks. Uh -huh. oh, well, say. Well, wow. Kind of a long string. Well, that's what makes it such a great action figure. Yeah. I know, but most action figures with a string, you know, you pull it, it's like 18 inches long. It is a bit longer on this one, I grant you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, but I mean, it's really a lot longer. <laughs> well, Hamlet does have some long speeches, Mike. Watch Ow. the umbrella stand. Ow. Ooh, okay, late. keep going, honey. Uh, it can't be too much more. Uh, see, Mike, what I do is go up those stairs up there. Up the stairs, right. No, no, behind that. Oh, there you go. I, I didn't even know we had stairs here. Never been over to this part of the ship. <laughs> hey, how much longer is it? Uh, not much. Uh-oh, oh, uh oh Pearl's calling. I didn't know there was a squash court up here. Yes, Pearl. Keep going. Look, I don't care if you're small but pivotal. You just can't waltz in here and... Hang on. 
Hi guys, got a little bit of a situation here. Apparently in Hamlet, there's a character named Fountain Bras. I've just Fort and Bras. Yeah. That's what I said. No, 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 actually you said uh, Fort and Bras. So no, anyway, he claims he's in the original Hamlet, but he's not in this movie. Yes, and I'm not leaving until I'm allowed to play my role. Am I simply to hang about in limbo? Or, or perhaps I should force myself on another play, hmm? And walk up to American Buffalo and say, Hello, have you a need for a Norwegian nobleman to arrange for bodies to be carted away? I don't think I'm being unreasonable here. Play the part. Really? Sure, go ahead. Play the part. Well, I'll um, need uh, two English ambassadors. Will you? Yes, and a Horatio, and a band of soldiers, and drums at the beginning and at the end, and a peal of ordnance, and of course, a body. Oh, Kelly! Where could I find a body on such short notice? Hmm, I wonder where... Say, could you pour this in your ear for me for just a minute? A body, 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 body. body. Well, hey, there's a body. You're in luck. Is it me? Am I a magnet for these idiots? He made me look butch. (laughs) Okay, let her go, Mike. To be or not to be. That is the question, whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by asleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to is a consummation devoutly to be wished to die, to sleep, to sleep. A chance to dream? Aye, there's the rust. <laughs>